Hi, I'm Marion Leister from MKL Reads. Today I am out in Sedona amidst the beautiful Red Rocks, just having taken a hike up here to this vista. <coughs> excuse me, vista. So it's given me a little bit of perspective this morning, and I want to talk about auditions. So most of you will or have gone through an audition at some point, whether it's a school thing or a professional audition. Now the first thing I want to talk about, which has to do with my climb to the mountain this morning, is for you to have a really great sense of why you're taking the audition, other than being made to. Um, of course, if you're in school, you're probably being forced to. But otherwise, I want you to really think about why you're doing it. And I want you to think about the job that you're putting yourself in the place for. And I want you to think about um, exactly what you have to offer that job, what you have to offer that orchestra or that chamber group or whatever it is. And become really clear on that. And before you even get to the audition, you have put yourself in that spot. You have offered to the universe and to that specific group, this is what I have to offer, this is who I am, this is the kind of oboe player I am, you know, you can take it or leave it kind of thing. So if it's really something you want and you can see yourself there, then you need to picture that too. Um, it's really important to actually picture yourself succeeding at the audition and winning the job. Um, if you have negative thoughts about it or you know you think it's a waste of time or you're not good enough and why am I even going just don't even bother because it is a waste of a plane ticket there uh, you'll get some good experience but you really need to go into any situation like that believing that you can do it and seeing yourself actually do it whether or not you do in the end won't really matter because you will have seen yourself do it and you will have the confidence to do it um, at some point when the moment is right so auditions uh, preparation starts many weeks before an audition. Um, you have the list, hopefully well in advance, and it's something that you're doing every single day. So depending how long the list is, you know, maybe you're taking an excerpt a day for a week or two and spending a whole day on one, um, and then when you get to the end of the 10, 12 excerpts, then you're spending every day going through each of them at once as if it's a real audition. You're tape recording yourself, you're videotaping yourself, you're having your friends and neighbors come over, you're playing for anybody that will listen. Um, you're running up and down the stairs and then playing your audition to kind of simulate the nervousness that you'll feel. You're playing it at night when you're dead tired. You're playing it the first thing when you wake up in the morning. You're trying for every situation that will make you uncomfortable <laughs> so that when you're in the real situation, the stress is a lot lower. So you're prepared, you've got reads, that kind of goes without saying. You've got backup reads, you've got your read tools, you've got everything you need to get on the plane or in the car and go to the audition. So my advice is when you actually get to the destination, probably the day before. Um, I have a superstition about not really practicing before an audition, even the day before. I'll just get where I'm going and try out my reads. Uh, maybe play a few scales and leave the oboe alone. I don't like to play through stuff because I feel like it. Um, if I don't do what I want to that close to the audition, then that will stick with me and I'll have kind of this bad memory of, oh yeah, yesterday in the hotel room I totally botched La Scala. Uh, it just gives me a bad feeling. So I'd say 24 hours before I don't practice anything. I just try out the reads. Um, so that's my tip to you as well. You can try that. I'm not one of those people that's still cramming before. I figure if I don't know it the day before or the day of, I'm just not going to know it. And there's a better chance I'll just kind of get it in the moment than stressing over it. Um, so show up at the audition site early. Obviously have plenty of food and water. Um, I was never one for taking any kind of drugs. I know people do that nowadays, but I personally would never do it. So, um, you know, go the natural route, just get lots of rest. Two nights before is the best time to get rest from what I've experienced. The night before you might be nervous and not sleep, but if you slept the two nights before you should be fine. Um, really be hydrated, get some exercise that morning, get your lungs moving. Nothing that's going to wear you out, but just walking or running a little bit. And when you get to the site, um, you know, have eaten something, bring a banana along. Uh, vitamin B complex is great for stress. I would take one or two of those an hour or two before a concert or an audition. It really chills you out. Um, Rescue Remedy is a natural uh, dropper 
dropper remedy that is good for calming you down. So those are great things to have on hand. And again, you're going to get there early, you're going to find out what time slot you have, and then you're just going to kind of sit and plan yourself accordingly. If you get there really early, again, I went and pull out your oboe and start practicing. Just bring a book or music and just really try and relax and get fully in your body. Um, and again, identify with that, that core that you have and that reason you have for being there. Because you're going to see people you know, you're going to see people you like, you're going to see people you don't like, you're going to hear people practicing. Um, a lot of people try and intimidate other people at auditions. I guess, you know, that's what makes them feel good. But don't get into that. Don't be one of those people that, you know, goes in the general practice room and flaunts, you know, excerpts or reads. It's just kind of obnoxious, really. Just keep to yourself. Um, you know, be quiet, center yourself. And when it's your turn to play, you've already tested read. Just go in. Center yourself again really well before you play. They can wait, you know five, ten seconds for you to really do that. Uh, don't feel pressured. And the same thing goes in between excerpts. When you're asked to play something else, just take a breath. You're under no obligation to dive into the next thing immediately, especially if you're just not ready. Um, so before each excerpt you're going to play, you're going to breathe and center. And you're going to think about what you're going to play. Um, you know, playing La Scala is completely different than Brahms' Violin Concerto. You need to get in that space, you need to hear that music in your head, and you need to ignore the behind the screen as much as possible. Um, that's the goal with an audition. You're, you're kind of pretending like you're just playing for the mountains, for the desert. You're not really playing for these people that are writing things down behind a screen. So if you do that, um, if you play for the mountains and play for the stars, then you know, you'll have the best shot of winning that job. And even if you don't, you'll walk away feeling really good about um, being there with a purpose and doing the best job you can. And when the right opportunity comes along, you'll meet it. So that's my spiel on auditions today. Uh, enjoy your day. Hope it's as beautiful as ours is here and hope to see you again. Bye.